Yo, yo, yo! This is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your artist team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Well, guys, the game updated earlier, and I did some discussions with you guys with the data mine. And now, this, after analyzing and stuff, and, you know, working hard. Ha! <sighs> Here it is. Here is this. Here is the first video that you're looking for. December Sync Pairs. Who to scout for? Um, this is not yet your gem computation. I know a lot of you are asking for that. Give me more time. It's not easy to work on these. Give me more time, guys. I I'll work on that um, soon. So, um, before anything else, guys, Give this video a thumbs up right now. It really helps me, um, you know, spread the info out to everyone. And you know what? Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe now. And if you want to help me out, if you feel that these videos are helpful and you want to lend an extra support or something like that, you can uh, become a member of this channel for as low as one US dollar a month. And I'll give you a shout out every single time. Plus, you will be able to get some more perks as well as spam score bunny emojis in chat and stuff like that. So, shout out goes to Shadow Phil, um, Sonic Colas, More or Less Gaming, Aryan Sync for becoming the first four members of this channel. Anyway, let's do this, guys. December Sync Bears, who to scout for? Um. Quick, quick answer if you're impatient, too long, don't watch thing. It's difficult. It's difficult to say who to scout for. And that's why this video is here to do a comparison and analysis on everyone. And, you know, just to help you guys think who you guys should scout for. And with that said, uh, we will be having several different scouts or pokefair or rather uh sync pair scouts for this one as you can see in the screen right now uh we have a gloria pokefair scout gloria pokefair scout will start on november 30 as well as we have the jasmine uh spotlight scout we have brendan and dawn spotlight scout we have the Kanto Trio rerun in a Pokefair Scout as well. Then we have um, Holiday Erica and Holiday Skyla, which will come in a tiered Scout, which is very questionable. We will be talking about that later. But in the meantime, guys, I made this handy timeline for everyone, like how I did last month. So, we have a 5-star select Scout, which is still running until now. It will end on December 7. Uh, five star select scout basically. 3,000 paid gems, paid gems, guys. Uh, you get randomly, it's it's like a normal sync pair scout where you cannot get the latest characters yet. Um, uh, w w Lysia is not yet there. Nate is not yet there. I'm not sure if Volkner is actually there. You know what? Can I check if Volkner is actually in the. 5-star select scout now. I should be careful not to press on scout. Okay, offering raid. Let me check on Volkner. Volkner, 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 Volkner. I don't see Volkner. Nope. The l Volkner is not here. Volkner is not here yet. So... Um, basically, 5-star select scout is 3,000 paid gems. You get 11 random sync pairs. 7% chance of getting a 5-star. And, you know, the normal percentage of getting how many sync pairs. And then, uh, there's a bonus scout. The 12 sync pair, you can select or choose a 5-star sync pair in the offering rate. And you can get that sync pair. You know, get that sync pair of your choice, but that costs 3,000 paid gems. And now, uh, we also have the Cynthia and Steven Pokefair Scout, as you see over here. It's running right now. It will end on December 13. By December 14, it's already gone. So, I'm marking everything one day before the end date. So, the last day is on December 13. It's a Pokefair Scout. Pokefair Scout meaning 10% chance of getting 5-star. 
Yep, 10% chance of getting a 5 star, 1.5% chance of getting Cynthia, 1.5 chance of getting Steven. And starting November 30, we will have the Gloria Pokefair Scout. It will end on, or the last day is on December 20. Again, it's a Pokefair Scout, and you probably need Gloria to perform well on the prestige event unless i don't know there's still too far too little details about the prestige event but if you want to rank in the top 6000 which is the top rank right now 6000 if you want to rank on the top 6000 you probably need gloria for the multipliers so gloria pokefair scout november 30 to december 20. then we have the jasmine uh spotlight scout Spotlight Scout, basically, I think just mean if you, you're able to scout for her in her Spotlight Scout, you can get three five-star power-ups in her scout, and then you can use those fi three five-star power-ups for Jasmine only, and try to make her six-star EX. So Jasmine, Dawn, and Brandon will have a six-star EX form. Uh, Iris will also have a six-star EX form, as I have said in the data mine thing. Um, if you were to ask me right now, I would totally and completely skip this banner. I would also completely skip the Dawn and Brandon banners, which will be running from December 8th until December 20th. Same, uh, same end date for Jasmine and Dawn and Brandon. And then, again, as, as, as with Jasmine, I would co totally and completely recommend you to skip this banner because there's Holiday Skyla and Holiday Erica. And for these banners, it's kind of, I'm not sure, they end on December 31 or I think January 1 or December 31. I have to confirm. But um, Holiday Skyla and Holiday Erica are coming in a tiered scout. And I'll get to that later, but they are seasonal scouts and we'll see how things go because it's a bit more complex if we want to discuss about these two. And then lastly, there's the Cygna Suit Kanto Trio rerun, which everyone should be excited about. It runs from uh, Gen December 17. And I'm not sure, I think it ends on December 31 as well. The last day is December 31 or a bit later. Um, yeah, Cygnus Suit Red, Cygnus Suit Blue, and Cygnus Suit Leaf in one single banner. One single banner, guys. It's a Pokefair Scout. And you know how awesome these guys are. You know how awesome these guys are. Um, go for it. Go for it. Even though they're combined, you know what? A lot of people are complaining that why are they in a single banner? Have you ever thought of doing a multi pool and getting all three of them together in one multi pool? That would be amazing. That would be amazing if that happens. So that are or these are the um, scouts or sing pair scouts that will be happening on the month. Of December I didn't include the daily scout because you know everyone should do the daily scout and let me make this clear probably there's a chance that Pokemon Masters will drop a sudden update an, an announced update anytime and surprises with another sync pair surprises with another Pokefair scout or anything like that it has happened on November and it might happen on December or on any other month again. So just keep that in mind. And with that said, let's jump into the status screen. So I didn't include uh, Cygnus Suit Red, Cygnus Suit Blue, and Cygnus Suit Leaf in the status screen already because everyone knows how powerful they are. I don't need to elaborate on that. Um, red is for the strongest stats, blue is for the weakest stats. And as you can see over here, um, in terms of HP, the one with the lowest HP is Steven with 454 HP. And then the, the highest HP is Holiday Erica with 615 HP. Holiday Erica is paired up with Comfy. And Holiday Skyla is paired up with a Togekiss. 
Holiday Erica is a support sing pair and her stats if you look at this right now is un uh, unexpectedly powerful. Her stats are all above 200 and if you make her a 6 star EX everything except special defense goes up to 300. And I'm like for a support sync pair this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, Holiday Skyla is a tech sync pair. Pretty average stats. Uh, I will get to those later. But in terms of HP, as you can see over here, again, Steven has the lowest HP. Holiday Erica is the highest HP. In terms of attack, by the way, this is Mega Metagross and Mega Garchomp. Mega Me Metagross and Mega Garchomp. Steven has the highest attack. Holiday Skyla has the lowest attack. In terms of defense, the highest defense is uh, Support Dawn. The weakest defense is Brendan. In terms of special attack, Brendan this time has the highest special attack. And the lowest special attack is Steven. But honestly, we don't need special attack for Steven. It's pure attack. Special defense, the lowest is Cynthia with 145. The highest uh, special defense is Holiday Erica. Again, high, high stats. Uh, in terms of speed, Dawn has the lowest speed at 169. And Brendan with the highest speed, surpassing everyone at 433. So if you look at this chart right now on the bottom, um, we can see that... Sorry. If we look at Holiday Erica, where is Holiday Erica? Come on, give me Holiday Erica. Holiday Erica. Her stats are mostly pretty, pretty, pretty high, except for speed, guys. Um, attack is in the middle. Special attack is in the middle. Speed is in the middle. But she is very, very balanced as a support sync pair. Again, her stats are incredibly high for a support sync pair. You would expect her defenses to be way up, but honestly, her stats, her stats are amazing. Um, in here we have Gloria. Let's check out Gloria right now. Gloria is somewhere in the middle for everything except speed. Speed, Gloria is the second highest in terms of speed. As for the others, she's kind of in the middle. Uh, next, we go to Holiday Skyla with the lowest attack. Pretty low defense, middle special attack, middle special defense, and kind of middle to below average speed. HP is pretty high over there. Um, Brendan has the highest speed, as you can see over here, and the highest special attack. Attack um, is in the middle. Bullet Seed is a physical attack. Uh, but you know what? Brendan gets a sync grid right now. And honestly, I am excited to make Brendan a 6-star EX sync pair. Very, very powerful. Steven. The good thing about Steven, guys, is Steven actually gets recuperation, I think. So every time you use a sync move, if she if he is 6-star EX, not only attacks everyone, not only has Haymaker to increase damage for everyone, but also you get to recover a bit of HP. And if you were to ask me right now, who do I want to 6-star EX? Is it gonna be Steven or is it gonna be uh, Gloria? My answer is Steven. But if you wanna excel in the, ta in the prestige event, you might want to go for Gloria. I don't know if Steven is going to be a, a, a featured sync pair in the prestige event. But definitely, Gloria is a featured sync pair in the prestige event. And again, top 6,000 as of currently will get maximum prizes from the prestige event. Now, guys, let's look at Gloria's stats. I made these screenshots earlier. So her stats are, uh, her moves are Behemoth Blade, Steel type, Clay Rough, um, Fairy type move, Move Gauge Boost, basically increases your move gauge by three levels. 
or three move gauge. Uh, laser sharp focus, if I'm not mistaken, raises your attack by two levels and then makes your next attack a critical hit. If I'm not mistaken, that is laser sharp focus. And then uh, fierce entry 2, her passive skills, fierce entry 2 increases your attack levels or attack by two levels when you enter the battle. Move gauge refresh for basically if you use B, Moth Blade, Play Rough. I'm not sure if move gauge boost and sharp laser sharp focus are included in this, but you have a 40% chance of bringing back one move gauge. Sync burst 1. Uh, okay, I forgot about sync burst 1. Give me a sec, guys. Uh, sync burst 1. Laser sharp focus reduces the, sync, the user's sync move countdown by 1, also, by the way. So, reduces the sync move countdown by 1. Raises the user's attack two levels, ensures that the next attack will be a critical hit. And um, Sync Burst 1 restores 1 MP for the user when a Sync move is used for the first time. So if I'm not mistaken guys, Laser Sharp Focus is only 1 MP. And if you use uh, if you use a Sync move, Laser Sharp Focus will replenish its 1 MP back. Behemoth Blade and Glorious Behemoth Blade, her sync move. Uh, the more or if the opponent has a sync buff, that means if the opponent has used at least one sync move, your Behemoth Blade and your Glorious Behemoth Blade sync move will be more powerful. Will be more powerful. And then notable sync grid tiles. Play rough on a roll 2 increases the chance of lowering stat values. Um, so if I'm not mis- wait, Play Rough has a very small chance of lowering the target's attack. With Honor Roll 2, it increases the chances of lowering the opponent's attack. Headstrong, attack cannot be lowered. Um, Head Start 1 reduces the sync move countdown by 1 when the Pokemon enters the battle for the first time. So if you use Laser Sharp Focus, if you use Head Start, that's minus 2 sync. Uh, sync move countdown already. Laser, laser sharp focus. MP refresh one. Unfortunately, it's only one. A very low chance of restoring the MP of laser sharp focus when you use laser sharp focus. Now, I don't think you need this because sync burst one will bring out, you know, will restore the MP of laser sharp focus. If you have someone that increases your increases your critical hit rate i would rather go for that increase your critical hit rate with some other sync pair uh the moment zacian enters the battle fierce entry 2 will plus two your attack use one laser sharp focus plus two attack again so your attack is plus four um and then you know once you use a sync move use laser sharp focus again you have plus six attack play rough super duper effective powers up Play rough if it's a it's a super effective move. Adrenaline one reduces the sync move countdown by one if you use a sync move. So a lot of involvement with the sync move countdown here. Burst in ensures that the user's next attack will be a critical hit when the Pokemon enters a battle. So, the first move, if you have this active in your sync grid, your first attack will be a critical hit, no matter what. Unless if the opponent has Vigilance. Um, move Gauge Boost, MP Refresh 2, has a moderate chance of restoring the Move Gauge or the MP of Move Gauge Boost if you use Move Gauge Boost. Then, there's Critical Ferocity 2. Has a good chance or has a moderate chance of raising the user's attack when the user lands a critical hit. If you were to ask me about this, I would ignore this because you can already have plus 6 attack once you use laser sharp focus twice. So I don't know, maybe you want to go for this. Personally speaking, I will not go for this. And I included this one because Move Gauge Refresh 9 basically hits every single time. And normally I don't include Move Gauge Refresh 
tiles in the notable sync grid tiles, but move gauge refresh 9, I just have to include this. Move gauge boost charges the user's move gauge by one when a user when the, when the move is successful. So when you use move gauge boost, you gain plus three move gauge in the bottom. With this move gauge boost, move gauge refresh nine, uh, you get another one. So every time you use move gauge boost, you use or you have four move gauge. And if her passive skill move gauge refresh four triggers, she get five move gauge just by using move gauge boost. Yeah, basically that's that's um, Zacian. Very interesting, B Moth Blade is a 4 move gauge move, if I haven't said it yet. So, again, this is the first time we have a sync or a sync pair that that increases her damage every time the opponent has a sync buff. So it happens with Behemoth Blade as well as her sync move. Glorious Behemoth Blade. Let's go to the next one, guys. Holiday Erika. Um, Holiday Erika will be happening, will be appearing in a tiered scout. As you can see, there are four scouts that Holiday Erika will be appearing in. I would go to this later. And this is a bit confusing for me until now, personally. Uh, again, her stats are extremely good for a support sync pair. And she's paired up with Comfy. And Vine Web is a one move gauge move. You attack, done. Attack, done. Attack, done. She has X region all, which is basically like, um, mam, 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 Glacia. And if you check here, notable sync grid tells, she has X region all MP refresh 2, which can bring back X region all. Um, layup, let me check what layup is. Layup. 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 Where is layup? Layup restores a bit of HP. Sorry. For all allied sync pairs. So, restores a bit of HP for everyone. Returns lowered stats of all allied sync pairs to normal. So, if, if the opponent likes to debuff you, minus 3 special attack, minus... 5 defense, minus something, minus something, and you probably have plus 6 speed or something. Your speed doesn't go, doesn't do anything, it stays at plus 6. But layup will bring back all lowered stats that are below 0 to 0. So it brings back all negative stats to 0. It also raises the defense of all allied sync pairs. So very good move. Again, number one, it restores a bit of HP for everyone. Imagine potion for everyone. I'm not sure how high the HP you could recover is gonna be, but it restores a bit of HP for everyone. And then it returns all lowered stats below zero to zero. And then it also raises your defense for everyone by one. So very good move. Uh, draining Kiss. Is an, it's a 3 move gauge, let me check, I think it's a 3 move gauge, 2 move gauge, 2 move gauge fairy type attack which can restore the user's HP based on the amount of damage done to the target. But if you see this notable sync grid tiles again, Draining Kiss Master Healer 1 increases the amount of HP restored when you use Draining Kiss. So she becomes a really good healer. Healing Hand 2 is very similar to Misty's Healing Hand 2. Uh, has a moderate chance every time you use a move, uh, it can recover all status conditions of everyone. Now the thing is, she already has Healing Hand 2 as a passive skill. And I don't think that you need to get Healing Hand 2 on her Sync Grid because it might be, you know, uh, Unless the opponent really likes to to inflict status conditions on you, I don't think you need healing hand for for Holiday Erica. So I suggest you stick with her passive skill and just ignore this. Titan up four has a good chance of raising 
Holiday Erica's special defense when you are hit by an attack move. As you can see over here at her stats, um, her weakest stat, which is honestly not weak at all, is her special defense. And if you check here, Holiday Erica is the highest special defense out of every single sync pair in this roster. So definitely not low, but it's the lowest out of everyone right now in, in the December scouts. So Titan Up has a has a good chance, has a 40% chance of raising your special defense when you are hit by an attack move. Um, X, X region all, I have already mentioned that. Mad Strength 4 has a, a good chance, 40% chance of raising your attack when your attacks are successful. Nice. <laughs> Lay Up, Shared Fortune... Um, two, lay up, uh, sharply raises the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, accuracy, or evasiveness of all allied sync pairs once you use lay up. So this is very similar to Holiday Rosa. Lay up already lowers or increases, restores back to normal every lowered, every negative stat. It increases your defense by 1 already and it recovers HP. With Layup Shared Fortune 2, you get to increase another stat by 2 levels. HP Advantage 5, the more HP Holiday Erika has... Uh, Eri, Eri. I think people call Holiday Erika Eric Claus or something like that. Eric Claus. Eric Claus. People call her Eric Claus. So the more HP, the more HP Eric Claus has, the more it powers up Vine Whip and Draining Kiss. Layup MP Refresh 2 has a moderate chance of restoring the MP of Layup when you use Layup. So Layup only has one MP. Only has one MP. But if that triggers Layup MP Refresh 2, you can use Layup again. Draining Kiss, Master Healer 1, I just discussed that. Recovers more HP if you use Draining Kiss. Safety Thether, Safety Thether makes the user able to endure the next hit that will re reduce the HP to zero when a move is successful, when, when you use a Sync move. Um, this is very similar to Cygna Suit Blue. Cygna Suit Blue has Safety Net. Safety Net, uh, meaning everyone gets an Endure status. But this one, unfortunately, it's only for Holiday Erika. Once you use a Sync move using Holiday Erika, she'll be able to have a, an Endure status. And only on Holiday Erika. I think this is only for the first time, so it will not happen again. It's just once. An Impatient One, which I really like, has a small chance of reducing the user's sync move countdown by 1. When the user is hit by an attack move, 10% chance of lowering your sync move countdown by 1 when you are attacked. Which is amazing as heck. Oh my gosh. If she's the tanker, oh my gosh. This is gonna be good. Draining Kiss eats up the HP of everyone, recovers your HP. HP Advantage 5, the higher your HP, the stronger your attacks are. Impatient 1, the more you're hit, the higher the chances of lowering, you know, your sync move countdown. It will, it's bound to happen. Uh, Titan Up raises your special defense by 40% when you're hit. So it's pretty, pretty interesting and good. Um, again, I'll be discussing about these scouts um, later with the info that I have right now. Um, we move on first to Holiday Skyla. Uh, she has Air Slash, which has a high chance of flinching the enemy. Is it flinching? Has a moderate chance of, of making the target flinch. Moderate chance. Try Attack. Has a small chance of leaving the target either burned, paralyzed, or frozen. So burn, paralyzed, or frozen. You don't have a control to that. It's random. X special attack increases your attack by two levels. Gift of Joy raises the user's speed and critical hit rate. Sharply raises 
the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, accuracy, or evasiveness of all allied scene pairs at random. So imagine Holiday Erica's shared fortune, something similar to Gift of Joy, increases um, Holiday Skyla's speed and critical hit rate by 1. And then increase, increases attack, defense, special attack, special defense, accuracy, evasiveness of everyone including Skyla by two levels randomly. Whichever stat. Whichever stat. So again, um, this is a texting pair weak to electric type. And ramming speed. The more the user's speed has been raised, the more it powers up moves. So Gift of Joy can increase your speed. And the higher your speed is, the more your moves, meaning air slash or try attack, gets. Rising Tide, the more your stats have been raised, the more it powers up sync moves. Sync moves. Good tidings, air slash. More powerful as you increase your own stats. Speedy Entry 1 raises your speed, raises a Skyless speed by one level plus one when uh, Holiday Skyla enters the battle. Team Lucky Entry 1 raises the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, accuracy, or evasiveness of everyone at random when you enter the battle. So random increase of stat whenever you enter the battle. Whenever you start the battle, you have increased stats. X, special attack, MP, refresh 2. Probably know about MP refresh now. Flinch hitter 1 powers up sync moves when the, when the opponent is flinching. Impervious. Stats cannot be lowered. Simple. Sharp entry. Raises your critical hit rate by 1 when you enter the battle. And if you use um, Gift of Joy 2 times, your critical hit rate goes up 3 levels. So maximum critical hit rate. Freeze Synergy 2 powers up moves when the opponent is frozen. Uh, Gift of Joy has a moderate chance of restoring the MP of Gift of Joy when you use Gift of Joy. 20% chance. Um, Scorcher 2 increases the damage the opponent gets from being burned. Soup Up 2 uh, has, a, has a moderate chance of raising the user's special attack when the user is hit by an attack move, this is kind of like the opposite of Holiday Erica's Titan Up 4. This has a 40% chance of raising your special defense. This one has a 20% chance of raising your special attack. And then there's Dirty Fighting 5, or Dirty Fighting 3, sorry. Powers up moves when the move or target, when the opponent is or has a status condition now if you notice it has a flinching thing it has a freezing thing it has a burning thing and if you were to ask me i would completely ignore this sorry i would completely ignore freeze energy and scorcher 2 probably focus on flinch hitter 5 instead because honestly you cannot control if the opponent is gonna freeze or gonna be burned you have no control over that I would go for go fi uh, Dirty Fighting 3 instead so that your moves are more powerful when the opponent is, you know, when the opponent is with a status condition. Super Interference 1, Foul Fighting 5, and Flying Shift are her passive skills. So Flying Shift turns a normal type try attack into a flying type attack. Uh, Foul Fighting 5, Power Sub Moves. When the opponent is flinching, confused, or trapped. Foul Fighting 5, around 50% stronger attack, I think, when the opponent is flinching. So Air Slash can make the opponent flinch. Uh, and when the opponent is flinching, not only Flinch Hitter, well, Flinch Hitter 5 is for sync moves, Foul Fighting 5 is for normal moves. So for Air Slash and Try Attack. Super Interference 1, though. Raises the chances of inflicting status conditions. So it raises the chance of paralyzing, uh, burning, or freezing the opponent, as well as raises the chances of flinching the opponent when you use air slash. It's pretty OP, and I hope that more sync pairs will have super interference one. 
And with that said, she also comes in like four banners, which is gonna be uh, the tiered scout, which I'm going to talk about later. If you were to ask me who I will choose, is it Holiday Rosa or Holiday Erica? I would probably say Holiday Erica is better in terms of stats, in terms of moves, in terms of tank. Holiday Erica seems very, very interesting. But we'll go to the tiered scout later because I'm honestly confused how her scout works. Let's go to Brendan, guys. Brendan is uh, has been around for a while, but this time he gets a sync grid. So he has the highest special attack. Does he has have the highest special attack? Brendan has the highest special attack and speed out of everyone. And now he has Leaf Storm Mind Swell. Has a moderate chance of raising the user's special attack when the user's Pokemon uses a move. Um, by the way, no turning back, guys, is normally my fir very first move every time I use Brendan in battle. Uh, it uses three move gauges or three move gauge, whatever you call that, uh, to increase your attack and special attack plus six. And with a lucky skill called Dauntless, you will not be able to lower your special attack because if you use Leaf Storm, your special attack is sharply decreased normally. So minus two special attack. So if you have Dauntless, your special attack never lowers down. So if you have Dauntless on Brendan, I feel that there's no need for Leaf Storm Mind's Well 2. And anything that involves increasing special attack including this Brainy Rush 6, radically raises the user's special attack after using a sync move. Brainy Rush radically means plus 6. So, uh, Brainy Rush, after you use a sync move using Brendan, your special attack increases by 6 levels. And if you have, again, if you have Dauntless, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. But if you suddenly decide to go for... Critical Strike 2 change up his moves, uh, his lucky skill to Critical Strike 2. Maybe you want Brainy Rush 6. Maybe. Inertia. The, use, the higher the user's speed, the more it powers up sync moves. Guys, um, let me make this clear. Some people think that the higher the user's speed means, you know, the sync grid tiles that involve speed plus 5, speed plus 10. No, it's not like that. It's not like that, guys. Um... Speed, the higher the user speed means speed plus one, speed plus two, you know, inside the battle. So if you use Skyla, if you use um, Take Flight, your speed goes up by two, your defense goes up by two. That's what's counted. So the higher the user speed, the highest is six. The more it powers up, sync moves. And he also has ramming speed. The higher the user speed, the more it powers up moves. Inertia works with Leaf Blade of Sundering, his sync move, and Brainy Rush, no, not Brainy Rush 6, Ramming Speed works with normal moves including Bullet Seed and Leaf Storm. So, Amped Up 1 is very similar to Olivia, raises the use, raises the Pokemon speed when it lands a critical hit. Now, I have questions to this one because this is the first time that we can have someone that can do a multi-attack. Bullet Seed uh, hits either two to five times. And you know what? If you have Dire Hit active, you have critical hit rate plus three. Bullet Hit hits the opponent five times. Is it considered five times landing a critical hit? So Amped Up 1 will activate five times? Or will it activate per bullet, per use of Bullet Seed, per use of the move? If this happens, like five critical bullet seeds at once, amp up one triggers, and your speed goes up by five with just one bullet seed, this is gonna be OP as heck. But if bullet seed, no matter how many bullet seeds hit the opponent and it's only like plus one, then oh well, that's that's supposed to be expected, I guess. That's expected. Same thing for Bullet Seed Staggering 1, guys. Bullet Seed has a small chance of making the target flinch when an attack is successful. 
So does the staggering one count for each hit of bullet seed or each use of bullet seed? I need to know. I need to know this. I need to know this. So um, he also has solar shield, speeding sun, healing sun, and charging sun, which basically makes him a bit more powerful. Power some moves, yes. A bit more powerful when it's sunny. And if you don't have sun, if you don't have a solar build, basically this does nothing. So that's Brendan, and Brendan now gets a 6-star EX form, which I'm very excited about. He's gonna be... He's the first um, Grass-type 6-star EX Sync pair, and he will be a 6-star EX... I'm definitely gonna make, her, make him a 6-star EX Sync pair once, once he comes out, once... Um, once this comes out. So, uh, Brendan and Dawn will have a 6-star EX form on December 7. Jasmine will have a 6-star EX form on December 2. You know, just follow the timeline of this and you'll know when the 6-star EX forms will come out. By the way, everyone here in the, in the timeline has a 6-star EX form, including Iris. So, Iris is gonna be the first 3-star sync pair or uh, a sync pair with the original potential of 3 stars to get a 6 star EX form. So, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. And guys, here it is. The last part of this video, which is the tiered scout. And honestly, I don't have enough info for this one. So, I just included everything that I found about the tiered scout. What is a tiered scout? So, um, use number of use tickets number of tickets to scout for this sync pair from the scouts scouts your details do you want to use blank paid gems to scout for blank sync pairs so guys you the the keyword to tiered scout is paid gems paid gems guys you need i think you need paid gems in order to do a tiered scout. And as you can see over here, each tier in this sync pair scout can only be completed once. After completing the sync pair scout for a tier, you'll progress to the next tier. The number of paid gems required and the number of sync pairs you can scout is different for each tier. Some tiers may include presents. Your tier progression will be reset when the current sync pair scout period ends, your tier progression will not carry over. And once you complete the last tier of the tier scout, the sync pair scout will end. And uh, we also have this info. Completing tier 5 will get you a 5-star great scout ticket. And you can use it in the ticket scout to get a 5-star sync pair that has an increased chance to be Skyline Togekiss. Or, if you do the tiered scout for Erika and Comfy, completing tier 5 will get you a 5-star great scout ticket that has an increased chance of Erika and Comfy. But you can also get normal 5-star sync pairs. So basically, you'll get a ticket. I think you only need one ticket for this. And you can get a 5-star sync pair at the random with a higher chance of getting either Skylar Togekiss or Erika and Comfy, depending on which tier scout you're using. So, um, if you if we go back to this, I think there's gonna be two uh, sync pair scouts in the in the sync pair scout thing, the normal sync pair scout thing. The first one is gonna be this one. This is the normal holiday sync pair scout, which again, as I have said in my video, I think Holiday Erica will be featured along with two other five-star sync pairs. And the first time you use 3,000 gems, you'll be able to get this support move candy coin. So Holiday Erica will be featured with two other five-star sync pairs and you can get those five-star sync pairs equally. Same for Holiday Skyla. 3,000 um, gems to do one multi-pull can uh, get you a tech move candy coin for the first time. 
and Holiday Skyla will also be featured with two other five star team pairs. And then beside the normal Holiday Scout, we have the tiered scout for Holiday um, Erica and Holiday Skyla. Again, this is just my interpretation, guys. So there's the normal scout, there's the normal Holiday Scout using normal gems, and the tiered scout that uses paid gems. Um, in the tiered scout, I don't know how many paid gems you need. I don't know how many sync pairs you can get in each tier. But apparently, as you can see over here, there are 10 tiers. There are 10 tiers. Um, this is probably for the great scout ticket for the great tier or something. And this is for the master scout ticket for the master tier which is this probably the great tier and this is the master tier and if you use your um, great scout ticket you have a bigger chance of getting either holiday erica or holiday skyla if you use your master scout ticket 100 percent chance as you can see over here completing 10 will get you a mass five star master scout ticket you can use it in the ticket scout for a guaranteed chance to scout for Skyla and Togekiss. And uh, same thing, completing tier 10 will guarantee you to get Erika and Comfy. Again, to do this tiered scout, I'm pretty sure that you need paid gems. As you can see over here, the number of paid gems required and the number of sync pairs you can scout for is different for each tier. I hope that you don't you need less than 37,000 paid gems to reach the highest tier I hope because you know what it's Christmas and we deserve a gift or two from the Pokemon Masters team and yeah that's 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 my request because I'm honestly scared about the tiered scout and I hope that, yeah, for example, tier 1, probably there are 5, you need 500 gems to scout for everyone, 500 paid gems, then it becomes 700, one, I don't know, I, the info is incomplete, guys, the info is incomplete. So, as far as I know, there are 10 tiers, you need paid gems for the tiers, but for those who don't have paid gems, you have your normal holiday scout, which you can do your normal scout and have a normal chance of getting holiday Skyla and holiday um, Erica. As for the tiered scout, I'm not sure if the chances of getting holiday Erica or holiday Skyla is much higher, but I am hoping that we are able to get them both easily. Because Gloria, we need... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do another video on how many gems and what are the requirements probably to perform well in the prestige event. And with that said, I think I said everything, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Work hard on this. And yeah, that's the December St. Pierce Who to Scout for video. Again, if you were to ask me... I'll still go for Steven if you want to perform well in the, uh, in the prestige event or if you want to perform better, not perform well, perform better. You might need Gloria for this and if you were to ask me which of the Holiday St. Pairs I would go for, either Holiday Skyla or Holiday Erica, I would go for Holiday Erica just because her stats and her moves are very interesting. And who will I make a 6-star EX sync pair off out of everyone here? Number 1, Steven. Number 2, Brendan. Steven and Brendan. And with that said, stay tuned for my gem count video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts. Share this with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. And again, if you want to support my channel, you can become a member of my channel for as low as one US dollar a month. 
join the ranks of Shadow Phil, Sonicolas, more or less gaming, Aryan Sink. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. And with that said, I'm done. I'm done, guys. Give me a couple of hours to work on the next video. I'm tired. Right. <laughs>